Hi, fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's movie time here in Horror Palooza. What's playing, Dan? We are watching The Conjuring. Oh, yes, we are. First time on this channel, guys. Yes, it is. All right. We've been looking forward to this, guys. It's time to go get some real scares in before the before the spooky season starts. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. It started out small. A hand or a leg was in a different position. Then one day it was in a completely different room. Oh, that's messed up. Camilla got in touch with a medium. We learned from her that a seven-year-old girl named Annabelle Higgins had died in this apartment. We gave her permission to move into the doll. Bad move. Yeah, that was stupid. She was sitting in the hallway, but we had left her in the spare room. And she had a red crayons in her hand? Creepy. Jesus. Yeah, you can have this apartment. I'm out. <laughs> you heard that doll. Right in the dumpster. There you go. I think you're just going to piss her off. God, could you imagine being a neighbor waking up and, just damn, and there's a damn doll just banging like that? Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How's she getting there? Oh my God. Ghosts don't possess such power. It's something inhuman. What's an inhuman spirit? It's something demonic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Demonic spirits don't possess things. It wanted to get inside of you. Mm-hmm. That's chilling, man. Jesus. What are you guys? Well, we've been called demonologists. But we prefer to be known simply as Ed and Lorraine Warren. Oh, they got a history. Just recognized by the Catholic Church. True I story. Cases through. If that's a true story, talk about a controversial one. No kidding. Nothing like real horror. Yeah. I get my own room. Oh, oh you can't even. No, I can't the room. So do I get to pick my own room, or do I have no choice in that either? You can't have a horror movie without an angsty teenager. Yeah. Hey, come. What's the matter with you? Hey, she got wind on, of something girl. she don't like. Dogs know stuff. You should listen yeah. to him. Come on, April. Look what I found, Cindy. Yeah, put that back where you found it. She found that in the tree. That's that's not a good sign. No. Okay, clap. Eh, only if you get caught. Gotcha! All right, where we break now? Damn it. That's a homeowner's worst nightmare. Breaking <laughs> shit on day one. I think we have a cellar or something. I wanna see, I wanna Would see. You, okay. That was hidden for a reason. I was gonna say. Like hell I would ever go down there. Oh, man. Go down there with a freaking chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> At least more than a match. It's an old piano and a whole bunch of garbage. Got extra square footage anyway. Didn't we see this problem in Barbarian too? <laughs> yes, we did. Everybody's got the wrong priorities here. Well, look, they want their money's worth, okay? Something's up with Sadie. Yeah, I don't know what her problem is. Sadie! Hey, be quiet. She's warning you. What the hell was that little crunch? There was this really funky smell in my bedroom last night. It reeked like something died. Is it still there? No. Problem solved. Wow. <laughs> That's uh, my attitude towards things, honestly. Life was different back in the day. <laughs> right. We didn't mind a little black mold here and there. <laughs> this is gonna take some serious elbow grease. <laughs> Everything in this house looks like it could be a conduit to evil. No, Joel, it's just old. Okay. <laughs> this clock stopped at 307 and so did the one in the hallway. Mm. Maybe you got knocked around on the move. Speaking of knocked around, what did you do to me last night? Mm. Ouch. Hope I wasn't too much of an animal. Baby! <laughs> oh, no. Not the dog. What oh, my God! Oh, no, mm. it got strangled. A yeah, genius dad here had to leave it on the chain. Everything you see in here is either haunted, cursed, or has been used in some kind of ritualistic practice. Hell no, I'm not leaving this shit in my house. You say she's a conduit. That's right. A very powerful demonic has latched itself onto her. But what about your wife? What happened to my wife happened during an exorcism. Oh. What happened to her? 
Honey, what are you doing? Come here. Come on, did you touch anything? No. I don't know if I'd want this stuff around a kid. No, she's curious, you know? That's what kids do. It's a recipe for disaster. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think he may write a positive article. Ooh, a non-skeptic. Stop blaming yourself. What happened to her? It stopped at 3.07. Again. That's not a coincidence. Oh. Stop grabbing my foot. Stop farting. That's not the first time somebody's mentioned a bad smell. Mm-hmm. What on earth provoked you to buy this place? It's probably cheap. Oh, it's exactly why. <laughs> and now we know why. Oh, God. Dad? Oh, damn it! What's that sound? It's Cindy. She's in my room. She's sleepwalking again. Sleepwalking? Kind of messed up. She's okay. Good night. She ended up in Andrea's room too. I think kind of freaked her out. Honey, you got another bruise here. Oh, she getting all beat up. How do you get something like that and not feel it? I don't know. That's interesting. Goddamn bird flew right into the house. Well, this is a bad spot for animals. That's a bad spot for people too, apparently. You're my friend, right? Yeah, let's play. Uh oh, no, she's talking to the box. Who are you talking to? Rory. He's my new friend. Do you want to see him? Yeah. Um, I think it was outside for a reason. Boom! Oh. <laughs> Well, okay, I guess Rory doesn't want to see me, huh? No, Rory doesn't want you to see him. Mmm, that's more likely. Seven, eight, nine, ten. First clap. Just go off right up to the stairs. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. April. Oh, no. Oh, I know where you're hiding. No, you do not. Give me the third clap. Uh-uh. That wouldn't hurt. I can hear you breathing. That's not a little girl. Oh, God. Your girl sounds like that. She's got problems. Ha, ha, you took your blindfold off. I win. You've been following other person's claps. Uh-oh. Nancy, it's not funny anymore. Oh. Okay, it's getting violent. Oh, God. Yeah, it'd be a little panic, too. There's no way. Behind the door. Oh, my God, yeah, it is. Christine? There's someone standing over there. It's looking right at us. Oh my god. Look, look, there's no one. There's no one here. Ugh, it's that smell again. Something's been there. Yeah, something's there. It's standing right behind you. Oh, oh god. No. Honey, there's nothing in here. There's nobody in So your dog dies and your kids are being terrorized and you don't believe anybody? Sid, that it wants my family dead. And why are you the only one hearing this? It's similar to how the mom couldn't see Rory, but the little girl could. Yeah. I'll be damned. She is taking iron deficiency pills. Good lord. That's pretty bad, though. It's really affecting her more than anybody, whatever it is going on here. Well, it's just only be affecting the girls in the house. Well, some of them. Some of them don't seem to notice. No, but they all smell things and whatnot. Yeah. So. Girls, it's way past your bedtime. I think Rory wants to play. I hope not. Oh, Jesus! God. Oh, my God! The whole wall is falling apart. 
Fucking heart attack, man. Jesus. <laughs> so we're past knocking noises now. Not go in that basement. Oh God! The oh. piano is playing. Jesus! It played her exact tune too. Mm -hmm. There's no fun in that. <laughs> Who's ever down there? I'm gonna lock you in now. Do it. Whoa! Oh. oh my God! That's violent, man. For a damn ghost. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, that was no coincidence. Locked in darkness, Jesus. Hey, wanna play hide and clap? Oh my oh. god! Good god. Sheesh! None of the kids hear it? How do they not hear all the pictures fall down? That's what I wanna know. She's doing it again? That's a little more than sleepwalking. She keeps walking to the same spot. All right, come on. You can just sleep with me tonight, all right? Yeah, this family's having a really bad night. Of course, the father's not there. Yeah, that's when they're most vulnerable. Y'all need to quit investigating shit. Oh, God, she looks like Annabelle. It's just there? Oh, oh my god. Who's in here? What happened? Somebody goddamn it, tell me what's going on here. Oh. Nobody knows what's going on here. All they can do is tell you what's happening to them. Yeah. It's a French Canadian farmer who had nothing more than a third grade education. The dark spirit made its home in this man. An upside down cross started to appear from within his body. Oh my. Oh. Okay, that's actual possession there. Yeah. Which ultimately grows into oppression. Breaks the victim down, and once in a weakened state, leads them to the third and final stage, possession. Well, she is the one with bruises all over her. Yeah, but all the kids have seen it. Yeah. There's something horrible happening in my house. Could you come and take a look? It's getting kind of late. We, we really need to be headed. No, you don't understand. She actually has a problem. Yes. Five Relation daughters for... who are scared to death. You have a daughter. And wouldn't you do anything you could to protect her? Please, can you come and take a look? Of course we will. This is what you guys specialize in. There's this awful smell like rotting meat that moves around the house. Well, our rancid smells could indicate some type of demonic activity. Mm. At least they're not dismissing it right away. Oh, that's good. Well, that's to keep those doors from banging at night. Does it come in threes? Yeah. Stops at dawn? Uh-huh. Well, sometimes it's meant as an insult to the Trinity. Well, that's not, doesn't sound like a serious insult. <laughs> It was here when we moved in. There's also a lot of stuff in the cellar. Show me the cellar. Like it looks sick, you know? <laughs> There's something about it that definitely gets their attention. Yeah. And she's a clairvoyant, so she probably feels all kinds of crap right now. She probably noticed it as soon as she walked in. Yeah. Something awful happened here, Ed. Wow. Do you mind if I try to see Rory? Oh, that's so creepy. It's old toys, man. Oh, no, there he is. There he was. He just seemed like a ghost, not all that malevolent. No. Hey. What the hell? What is it? Uh-uh. It's a clairvoyance. Yeah, she's seeing some shit here. This place is effed. I've been seeing the dark entity that haunts your house. Ooh. It was latched to your back. Oh. oh, I see the... Yeah. This dark entity has latched itself to your family, and it's feeding off you. Even if we leave? Yeah, sometimes when you get haunted, it's like stepping on gum. You take it with you. Well, that's bullshit. That sucks. <laughs> Performing exorcism is an archaic procedure, which has to authorize it first. 
It means we gotta investigate, gather evidence, and provide proof. Have your children been baptized? We're not really a church going family. Well, you may want to rethink that. Our presence here could make things worse. It's interesting, though, because she said they had multiple spirits in the house. They do. You've seen Rory. You've seen that whatever that thing was hanging. Yeah. And if something bad happened down in the cellar, sounds like you got lots of ghosts there. Yeah. Honey. One for you and one for me. What a picture of you and Daddy and my. This way we'll always be together. I miss you and Daddy. That's a nice gift. It was built in 1863 by a man named Judson Sherman, who was married to a woman named Bathsheba. Bathsheba? I already hate this. <laughs> they had a baby, and when the baby was seven days old, Judson caught her sacrificing it in front of the fireplace. Oh, oh God. God. To that tree by the dock, climbed up, proclaimed her love to Satan, cursed anyone who tried to take her land, and hung herself. Oh. Jesus. Freaking evil. <laughs> Time of death was pronounced at 3.07 oh. in the morning. She had a boy named Rory who mysteriously disappeared in the woods. Then she killed herself in the cellar. Oh, man. Okay. A woman who worked as a maid in a neighboring home, she committed suicide, too. Anybody that goes after her land. People who took her land. I'm sitting here with Karen and her and with her family. That just turned on. Yes, it did. Uh, that wasn't there the first time. I... Fucking chills from that. <laughs> yeah, this problems with this whole area, not just this house. Yeah. We need like a whole team of priests. We need to like get this family cleansed and get them the hell out of here. Right. And condemn this land. <laughs> this is a lot of work just to get some proof. It shouldn't be that hard. You'd think so. But they're not taking any chances. They're setting up everything. We're going to listen. We're going to look. We're going to take pictures. We're going to do it all. What's this uh, do? Oh, and there's an instant drop in temperature. A thermostat triggers the camera to take a picture. Hmm. Smart. How could a mother kill her own child? Witches believe it elevates their status in the eyes of Satan. That's a nice day at the beach, huh? You should have seen Roger and the girls. I've never seen them so happy. Pretty far out, isn't it? Yeah, it's groovy. Aw, young love. The presence of religious icons will get a reaction from anything unholy. Sort of pisses him off. She was a witch. Oh. Change of temperature. Mm -hmm. All right, it's 918. We're headed down into the cellar where the door's just opened on its own. I have Lorraine and Officer Brad Hamilton with me. Just in case something jumps out. Throw the officer at it. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a sign that you want to communicate with us. That looks like old school found footage, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, close the door. Move something. Come on. Just throw some holy water on it. See if it pisses them off. Doesn't always work when you want it to. Maybe the camera picks something up. Mm -hmm. you... oh. Everybody saw that. Oh, yeah. Well, at least everybody's semi happy for now. All things considered, it was a calm night. It's a calm night. You had cops, you had ghost hunters. Yeah. They have such a beautiful family, don't they? You've got to help them. I know. I'll start with the Chevy. <laughs> hey, start. What they need is normalcy. Oh! Holy shit. There it is. Yeah. Oh, God. Just went right into her room. Yeah, it's freaky. Uh-uh. Jesus. Oh! I've seen movies that start like that. I'm fine. You sick? I woke up just feeling a little nauseous, that's all. I thought I saw... I hear Roger and the girls. She is so possessed now. Something's wrong with her. Got a nice place here, Roger. You know, Lorraine and I always wanted a spot in the country. I'll sell you this one. <laughs> Give you a good deal, too. Yeah, great deal. Really means a lot to us to have you here. Just want to say thank you, though, for coming out when you did. That's all, Lorraine. I didn't want to. Because <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> Whatever Lorraine sees, feels, it helps people, but it also takes a toll on her. A couple months ago, we were working on a case. She saw something. <laughs> it took a real big piece. Whatever it was, it scared the hell out of her. It probably tried to get into her. It's, yeah, maybe. Look what she made me do. Uh -uh. How many goddamn ghosts she got around here? 
shit lock you out. <laughs> Holy shit. I see her. Ed? Oh! Oh! Jesus! Came from nowhere. I saw someone. There was a woman dressed as a maid. <laughs> oh. Was that one of the ghosts? That was one of the daughters. That's a little sleepwalker. Why do I need pictures of Cindy? She didn't trigger it. Mm. Something's she following didn't trigger. her. Somebody's with her. Or somebody's leading her. <laughs> oh, hell no. There's someone else in there with her. That's just Rory talking. Cindy? It's that damn dresser. Where'd she go, Ed? Wait, those are you, see their, you can see their breath. They got really cold in there. Sure did. Get out of the way. Right towards the dresser. Is there like a hidden latch? Hidden door? Yeah, there it is. Her. Just into the walls. Jesus. This is evil dead. It's probably where Bathsheba kept her stuff. Or it's where the kids hid from Bathsheba. That's where Rory hides when he's afraid. Oh, there we go. Hun, could I have April's music box, please? Oh, it fits in there. Uh, what is that connected to? A getaway rope? She thought something crap. It's a noose. Oh my. I think that was Bathsheba's. No! Oh no. Oh god. Go all the way to the basement. No. Of course it leads to the basement. Why wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Not the place to be in this house. I see she's standing oh, up. She killed yes. Rory. That was the mother. That was Rory's mother. Oh, oh God. He made me do it. Not, not all the ghosts are bad people. I think it's all Bathsheba's work. It is. It's coming right at her. Oh! Oh my God! Oh, Grab the necklace. No. Oh no! That was her daughter's locket. She possessed the mother to kill the child. She visits Carolyn every night. That's what the bruise marks are. She's feeding off of her. Hmm. Oh, she's pissed. Yes, yeah, they know her secret now. Uh. Her hair standing up. Oh my god. Jesus! Oh my god, it's got her right by the hair. She's dragging them all. Did you get that? Yeah. Oh, I hope you didn't have the lens cap on. Oh. <laughs> now that's proof right there. Yeah. Listen, when we get the exorcist, I'll be back, but Lorraine, right? Yeah, I understand. What oh. the heck? Oh, it's her daughter. Oh, God. Judy. That's not real. That's a threat. I had a vision of Judy in the water. I know it was some kind of warning. I think she's just messing with you. She's trying she to scare you away so you won't come back. Yeah, but she knows what she looks like. She's got that locket now. But can't she leave the residence? If it can latch itself onto the family, it can leave. It's all, it's in her right now. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I think he had the Padre pissing his pants here. <laughs> the kids aren't baptized. No, I understand. And the family, they're not members of the church. Oh, come on. Come on, dude. Politics. Get it out of here, Ren. But the approval would have to come directly from the Vatican. Father, well, we've never seen nothing like this. This is obvious possession. Look at that. It's Rory. I'll push it through myself. Good man. Yeah, Bathsheba's gonna want her pound of flesh. And sooner rather than later. Yes. Uh -oh. So 
This thing can go anywhere with a connection. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure it's latched itself onto the warrens, too. Mommy? Daddy? Dude, she could blend into the walls. <laughs> She's really good. And their toy box is open. Girl, close that door and go back upstairs. Right now. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Where's the doll? Nana? Oh my god, that darkness coming right at her. God. Dude. Evil bitch! It's in there. Oh my god. Just brushing Annabelle's hair. That is fucked up. Try to get back, honey. The chair's turning. Whoa. Holy shit! Jesus. Just tried to kill that girl. Like she was always in there. Yeah, that doll actually looks like it's smirking. Dad, Dad, Mom just left with Christine and April. She, like she didn't say what was going on. Did you hear that? And she smelled like rotten meat. Where are we going, Mom? And you really stink. <laughs> There's something going on with Carolyn. Andrew was here and she said that Carolyn took off with Christine in April. The girl said she smelled like rotten meat. All right, What's... let's go and set that house on fire. I'm coming with you. No way, you stay here with Judy. The only way to protect Judy is if we stop this where it started. I can't lose you. He won't. You get rid of her, your problems are solved. Oh, that worked. <laughs> She's down in the damn basement. You hear her screaming? Jesus. We gotta get her to the car. We are where? To take her to the priest for the exorcism. What? We can't just have the priest come here? Yeah. Oh, so she won't her. let her leave. If we take her out, the witch will kill her. Yeah. Holy oh shit! God. Oh my god. Damn. Stay in here. Stay in about. here no matter what. I'll be back. I promise. No. I have to find April, okay? Oh, where the hell is she? I don't know. That ghost is out for blood. Well, that's no ghost. That's a damn demon. Yeah. She's so strong. Oh, my oh. God. Good Lord, she took a chunk off his face. I have to do it. The exorcism. I thought you said we need a priest. You're not a priest. Well, you got a better idea. You've got to get out of here. God brought us together for a reason. This is it. He's not an expert. Anything could go wrong. You should really leave. Santa Michael Arcangeli. Defende no sem prelio. You're American Latin. Wow. One drop. That's all it took. Are you sure you're up for this, man? <laughs> this house ain't gonna survive this. Oh my god. god. Bird's head is just in there. So freaky. Why are they drawn to this house like that? God. How the hell did you get there? I say, where is she at? Oh, God. I command you to reveal yourself! Uh, that is not Carolyn. No. Seculo Liberator. Okay. Yeah, it's not over. Oh, it's about to get worse. No. Put her down! Put her down! But now she's loose. Oh no! Hold her still! 
damn you. You leave my family alone. That the thing don't care about your words. She's already gone. And now you're all gonna die. Oh, Whoa! He's actively trying to kill people. I found her! That didn't she just pull the trigger and cock the damn yeah. gun. <laughs> That's a card carrying demon, man. Here. Carolyn! Oh! Oh, she's in there! Why did you get down there, little girl? Ah. I condemn you back to hell. Ah! This is your daughter. I'm going to do this you to you. Still okay? Don't let this thing do this. You gotta fight it. This is your best option. <laughs> we need the priest, right? Remember what you showed me. There you go. And give your family. You couldn't have done this at the beginning. You said they meant the world to you. It was what's working, that's good. Get it out. There you go. She looks a lot better already. Hey look, it's going away. All her bruises. Oh wow. Just instantly too. Nothing like a little vitamin uh, E there. <laughs> so sorry. I love you so much. They drafted that to your face? I'd take a guy with a gun any day. <laughs> I would too. At least you can see that guy. Ah, oh, she got her locket back. Hopefully it's not a picture of Bathsheba in there now. Oh, I mean, oh god, I hope not. Should have left that thing in the tree. The Vatican approved the exorcism. A little late now. So yeah, don't follow the devil. No. That thing just opens whenever it wants now. I was gonna say, it wasn't open when you put it down. No. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Oh, yeah. I thought something would pop up in there. I know, I was expecting it to. That's the actual family? That's the actual family, look at that. Well, he looks like an asshole in this pic. <laughs> they made the right casting choice then. It's kind of creepy they're doing the credits next to the actual family photos. I know, right? Jeez, there's something really haunting about looking at it like that. Mm -hmm. I think that's enough. What do you say? I think we're good. I think we're good. We've been haunted this entire movie. That's for sure. Shush. This one hits a little different because it's based on a true story. So that's, but that, but it was a good movie nonetheless. But it's, it's incredible how it's like. I don't know how much of what actually happened here actually happened, mm -hmm. but the fact that it is based on a true story and you saw the real family is yeah. pretty insane. Yeah, it is. And you hear about these exorcisms, you know, being these terrible things. You really don't see, hear too many details about what they're actually like, though. I mean, I've seen some shows where they talk about something that have happened in the past, and you kind of hear them talking about people using other languages they don't know people just not acting like themselves you usually don't see anything quite this graphic and i can see why they would consider it like a big part of their story sure because this is way outside of what you would expect to see in any kind of possession situation i know it's incredible right but there are places kind of like uh kind of like amityville mm -hmm. you know that are real you know and a lot of what we were what was based on here kind of stems from the old Salem witch trials because Bathsheba was like an ancestor of one of those witches. Right. So it's not surprising that something like that would be incredibly haunting because she had a deep connection to the dark to the dark one there. So. Yeah. And I think that's what made this movie so good is the fact that you know, she's not just a random ghost. You know, she's an actual witch. She's, you know, offered herself to Satan, offered other people to Satan. She's put a curse on this land. So it's not like she's just... You know, a, a horrible person who lived in life. Like she was actually evil person. Yeah. You know, she's she's doing this stuff because she's evil. She's always been evil. Even in life, she was evil. It, it's hard to imagine somebody like that, but then for them to have the powers of a demon too, to be able to hit you, you know, anytime, anywhere, pop up at random and just drag you around the room, throw you against the wall, actually do damage to your body, it puts a whole new spin on things. Oh, certainly. It almost makes you question, like, every move you make. It's like, hey, am I, where am I going? Why is, you know, obviously the parent family here, they didn't question shit when they bought this property, and maybe they should have. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's a lesson that they'll take to heart next time. 
what kind of judgment do you even learn from something like that? You know, it's crazy. I mean, this is a very extreme case, though, because, you know, you wouldn't expect that to happen in any house out there like that. You wouldn't, yeah. but they're going to be skeptical for the rest of their lives. You oh, know? for sure. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, you see the house, you see it's the lap dilapidated old house. It's got cracks in the walls. It, things are all dirty. You can see why they're auctioning it off, because it's not a very pristine house. You wouldn't think, oh, this thing has a history. All these terrible people, all these terrible things have died, have happened. People have died, especially too, because they were saying the land was parceled off. So you had people dying at like neighboring houses. You wouldn't have thought that'd be an issue on your house, but it was. No, that was the reach she had. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, you can parcel it off all you want. This was all my land, and it still is. It's this is like an old redneck saying, "Get the hell off my property." <laughs> I don't care if I'm dead. I'm still gonna kill you from the on the grave. Kinda, but. But like, even if you're skeptical, who's going to do like 300 years back with the research to see how your land was? You... I don't know. You probably shouldn't have to do that because, I mean, you know, all this land has been here long before any of us were here. Right. So God, know God knows what could have happened anywhere, right? So and that's what I'm saying. For all you know, this is an old battleground. It could just be a bunch of dead soldiers walking around, but who can say? But I'll tell you what, man, I'd be I'd be having words with the bank here <laughs> because you just sold that to me for pennies on the dollar. But you didn't tell me why. Now, granted, it, we should have we should have asked why. Mm -hmm. But you didn't even offer a reason. <laughs> you just gave it to us. You take some of that footage in there and say, "I want my money back." Oh, you probably sue them. That sue the crap out of them, man. I want to see what a judge would actually do with that kind of evidence. Yeah, I'd like to enter in Exhibit A. This is a girl being drug around the house by her hair. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know, right? <laughs> right. Shush. But no, so I like like the story that came out of this it was pretty. It was actually a pretty good one. Because like we, throughout the throughout the uh, movie, we're seeing, you know, the clock stopping at 3:07. Mm -hmm. You're hearing all the banging on the walls there, mm -hmm. like they're coming threes. I could have thought of a better insult to the Trinity, to the Holy Trinity, I think, rather than a couple of taps on the wall. But then you start hearing all the voices, and things are, you know, it just gradually gets worse there. But I thought it was really cool how they tied in, like, you know, she hung herself at 3:07, and that's why all the clocks stop. Yeah. That was one of the coolest little tidbits I thought there. I liked how everything was really connected here because, you know, recently we watched Insidious and you, you kind of see some, you know, relationship there in the way the two movies play out. But I think this movie was much better. Same than actor. The, same actor. Yeah. I think this movie was better in a lot of ways because, you know, like you said, you do have all the deep connections to what's going on here. You've got better scares, I think, in my opinion, too. Because for most of that film, you don't really see the demon or you just see like parts of the demon in Insidious. And this, you straight up see them, full face, everything. And you know, they're jumping out at you. They're they're manipulating objects around you. They don't try to hide as much in this film. And I think it actually makes it better because you're seeing what they're actually capable of. Oh, certainly. Yeah, you can feel their oppression and you can feel the sense of dread throughout this movie. Yeah. Like all the time, you know, it's just constantly all, all over this movie making you feel some type of way, so. And it, it's kind of good too because they have this diversion part here where you have multiple ghosts in the house so yeah you got the Sheba who's obviously trying to hurt people but then you've got like Rory in there you've got the the maid who committed suicide who are also interacting with you but they're not necessarily malevolent spirits they're just there and so the whole time you're kind of confused as to what's going on and you realize oh well, there's actually multiple things going on here kind of reminds me of um what, what we saw in identity because identity you know, we thought it was just one issue with people being at a hotel, and then it turned out there's other aspects to the story than that. Mm -hmm. And so that was kind of nice, too, because you never really know for sure what's going on. You, th you think at first it's one demon messing with them, but it's not. And I'll tell you another thing. I feel sorry for, like, Rory and all the people, because it almost seems like when Bathsheba made them do whatever they did, mm -hmm. they were trapped there and couldn't get out then. It's almost like when she made that sacrifice, you know, their soul belonged to the land. Because they were all there still. They got caught in the curse. Yes. Yeah. I mean, hopefully whatever exorcism they perform or li lips the curse. Hopefully they're free to move on to whatever awaits in the next. Yeah. Because that was bad. You could see the exhaustion on their faces just from being trapped in a curse even then. Oh, yeah. So. And you can hear the, the... Anguish in their voices yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They were, to they were tortured souls. Yeah. Yeah. God, that's, that's sadistic. It is. It really is. And that... That's what makes Bathsheba such a good villain. Certainly. Because she's just a straight up evil person. You could, The amount of children you can hear laughing and, and crying. Mm -hmm. How many kids do you need? Jeez. Mm -hmm. oh. 
She's been doing it for over a hundred years. Well, yeah, then the banks owe some explanations there. You need to, you should have condemned this land and had sent priests over a long time ago. I don't think anybody realized the, the scope of what was going on here. Well, they see the minutia now. <laughs> There's no getting around it. No. The conduits were interesting, too. Like, the first one we see here was Annabelle. Mm-hmm. And then you see his entire, like, museum of artifacts there. Yeah. That part is like, I would not lead people into this place. <laughs> ever. If, they're, if all these things are, like, possessed... Don't ever let people around it where they can just touch something like that. Well, I mean, he did say they have a priest in there every month, but still, like, like that's a whole room of concentrated evil. Like that's how a Ghostbusters movie starts. Like it's in your house where you live. Come on, can't put this in like a. No, you don't want to put that in a storage facility. Somebody auction it off and spread it all out all over, all over the place. But I mean, you've got your family there. You know, you've got your daughter, you've got your mother. Like you're putting your family in danger by having it there. Right. I think I read somewhere that I think the actual Lorraine Warren, I think, was actually in this. Mm -hmm. Like she was like either like Lorraine's mother or the nanny, something like that. Hmm. I think she was one of those ladies. If that's true, that'd be great because you have someone with the first hand account there to help guide things along and make sure you're getting the full sense of what's happening. Oh, certainly. Definitely want to add in the theatrics there because you have no idea what was real and what wasn't. Right. Still. I mean, it's still a movie. You got to you know add some things in there to spice it up and keep things interesting for the whole two hours that it's going. But at the same time, you know, if you have somebody who knows what it's like to be in that situation, knows the fear and the tension, and can help portray that on the screen, that's even better. Oh, yeah. Great movie, though. Enjoyed this very much. It was. I, I had fun jump scares in this one. It was very well done. I'd say this is probably, like, after The Exorcist, it's probably, like, the best one I've seen where you've had, like, a demon... Uh, presence or whatever? A demonic presence, yeah, we'll say that. Okay. I think so. Yeah, it's, uh, nothing tops The Exorcist. Nothing, I mean, this one's probably the closest one. You're right. It's hard to beat the OG because the OG did so many things that just, there's nothing you can do that's better than that. Yeah. You know, and we kind of saw some examples here, like when she's floating in the chair, it kind of mimics her floating in the bed. Whom I say that didn't actually happen in the real case. But the point is, you know, it's going to be hard to come up with stuff that you haven't seen already. And I think one of my favorite parts about this whole thing was the limited use of CGI. Mm -hmm. You know, they stuck very much to practical and just using your environment to scare you. Oh, absolutely. Keeping you in dreadful darkness, all that stuff. You don't need CGI for creaky doors. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Or you can make loud noises on your own, too. Oh, yeah. All, anybody can go over there and go, bam, 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 you know? Yeah, it's not hard. <laughs> no. That, that's why horror movies are actually pretty cheap to make, because if you do it right, you can be effective, and you don't need a whole bunch of computer graphics to do it. Yes. Horror movies are some of the best, guys. This is a great movie, folks. Uh, let us know if you have any other favorites that are in this realm here, guys. I'd love to hear them. And if there's any that you would recommend for us, please let us know as well, guys. But first of all, guys, uh, if this is your first time with us, I, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. But also, for those of you that had subscribed in the past, we've been noticing in interesting things on our channel, guys. Please be sure to check and make sure if you did subscribe that you are still subscribed. Every now and then we notice that we lose a few here and there. If Anybody ever wants to unsubscribe on their own, that's perfectly fine. But if you want to stay, just make sure that you are still currently subscribed. It would be just as easy as going onto our profile page and seeing if you need to still click the subscribe button there. So also, while you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there, guys. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys. Later, guys.